It's been a little bit. Guess how many days it's been? It's been 60 days and I've been drawing still. This is a challenge I put forward on my, upon myself 60 days ago. And now you guys get to see the results of what I may or may not have built up. Now, the funniest things that happen is I got a package in the mail back during one of the early live streams on Twitch for a VR chat live stream. But of course we still, I'm still between the magic right now, between everything, trying to figure out where, where we're going to sit, uh, where the magic is going to happen. And that's where I'm at right now. But of course that still means I'm still drawing. I'm still your every day, every Joe out there in the world, still working his ass off and making videos for everyone to see. So first thing, if you're finding this video and you want to help out, subscribe to the channel. This is stuff that's going to keep on going. We're, I'm doing creation. And I have to say in the last little bit, the creation side of things, actually doing something creative has been a absolute pleasure to do. And it's absolutely amazing. And I hope to do more as I figure out more things to do with this fancy little tool. Uh, there is so many more things that I have that I want to do and that's coming down the pipeline. But today, today we're talking about how to draw furries because this book was sent to me a little while ago and it was quite hilarious. I, there's a clip over on the Twitch channel that you may want to see where someone figured out what this is before I even opened it on stream. It was pretty funny uh, in that sense. This book has helped quite a bit. Uh, if you're into trying to draw, just trying to learn how to draw where I'm at right now, it is handy to get a book like this uh, and pick it up. It shows you some extra things. And I have to say, having a, a medium or having a something to draw uh, in that sense has made learning how to draw a lot better. And you're going to see this in a little bit as we go through the photos, or I should say, the pictures that I have drawn. Now I've got the camera all set up so you guys can all see. Now, Right down here at the bottom, I did put a date uh, for when I was done the 30 day video. So now we're at 60 days. You know, it, learning how to draw, it's not something that you do lightly. This one's a little bit light because I didn't, I didn't continue with it, but it's just putting it on paper and just trying to get an understanding of what you're looking at for yourself. I don't know what direction to go. This has been one of the hardest things for me to figure out is how or what to draw. And I've sat there and I'm like, okay, I'm just going to draw something on the paper and let it become whatever it becomes. And you know, sometimes it's, it's not the greatest, but at other times it's bird-like at this point or very something else. You know, this was a rough sketch. I'm try I'm still trying to understand how beaks translate in this sense. And I have to say drawing a maw is way easier than drawing a beak for some reason in my mind. <laughs> and then you get a little bit goofy. And I, I really do like the goofy side of things when it comes to just trying to learn how to draw and do something more with it all. Now, there is a few uh, that I have taken some inspiration from just because of the amount of character creation you can do with the VR chat, you get everything out there in the VR chat. You, every, the, some of the stuff that I've seen recently for models, it blows me away how detailed some of these models really do become. This is, uh, this is something that I learned from the, the book. This is uh, drawing one of the dragons, which I thought was absolutely crazy. Um, just trying to repeat and rinse and repeat a couple times here, just to get an idea of what's going on there. You know, and then you get a little bit more definition, I guess. I'm not, you know, none of these I'm happy with, but this is where you learn. This is, you've got to start somewhere. And if you don't start somewhere when it, you know, when you're doing these things, it's not going to translate to something in the future. And it's just, it just takes time. Uh, the fact that I can get expressions down, I think is something that's worthwhile in that sense. Now you're going to see, once we get to the pages here, it's a very, once I have someone or a muse in this point, I feel I am able to try and simulate that a lot a lot better overall and you know at the same time the the eyeless 
sort of teddy bear look that we get out of some of these are just hilarious in that sense. Just trying to emulate something that I've seen, add some color to it, add a little bit of uh, difference to it. Again, I just throw something down on paper. I'm like, okay, well, how does this work? Is this going to work? I don't know how it's going to turn out in the long run. This one, it came out very small, but it, it was an idea that I was obviously drawing with. Trying just to get, go back to the basics is what that was. Just trying to get the, the form behind it. You know, the dragon. And then the free count. Something that I've seen so many times when it came to VR chat is the free count. It is a base avatar. A lot of people use it. And I was like, you know what? Let's try and draw the free count. Let's do something like that. Um, Milo, if you guys have, if you guys know who Milo is, he's, uh, he's a furry that's online. He owns a Corvette. He does, he sings. His singing is absolutely amazing. He goes around to fur cons. He does all those things. And this was something I was like, you know what? Let's try something different. Let's do something different. And that's where I said, let's add the color. Let's see what I can do with it. Once again, a couple just derpy looking uh, stencils. And then I tried to draw the Panther, Jake the Panther, And I was like, eh, it's okay. It's something I did. You know, I'm not entirely happy with it, but at the same time, it's not an easy model to draw. I found this very challenging. And the fact that I was able to, to simulate very similar to what I see with Jake the Panther, I got a very, very much remixed version of it. And it's something else. And then Marcus Silverfur, you know, uh, it, I, I was talking to Marcus actually during a live stream. Unfortunately, his live stream went down and I was like, I'm not entirely sure these are streamers. I sit there and I watch a few things and I'm like, okay, I'm watching them live. Why don't I try and draw what I'm seeing right now? And that's, that's the way I look at it. There's nothing more behind that. <laughs> <laughs> Lycan Mike. Lycan Mike is a very unique individual. Um, every time I've seen him in uh, VR chat or, or on a live stream, uh, he's always very tired and he's always very sleepy. And it's quite hilarious because you know, I know hopping into VR chat and just into VR in that sense, you don't get this sense of tiredness and it, it revigorates you and you continue to try and just be there because you don't want to miss out and you're having fun and it's a very unique circumstance in that sense. So I was like, he's got a very, very unique model. Let's try. Let's, I don't do, I haven't tried shading. I was like, let's try this and see where it goes. And honestly, I thought this was one of the better ones that I've been able to do. Of course, going back, you guys probably can't see this uh, very well, but it, kind of an outline of my own. I was attempting Shadow of the Wufu Wu. Um, and it just, I felt like, the models, a lot of the models, when they're very dark, I find very difficult to draw because you can't look at the definition. And that's part of what I'm trying to learn is how to get that definition. And, you know, then I'll just try and emulate my own sort of uniqueness when it comes down to these things. Trying to draw a side view, uh, I, you know, you know the, the whole Leela from Futurama comes to mind with that. Uh, once again, another dragon style. Trying to draw more of a phoenix at this point, or the griffin at this point, not so much the phoenix. And that was it for this book. I, I stopped drawing in this book because I received two new books. So this one is a much smaller book, actually fits my pocket very well. Um, kind of nice because now I can sit there at work uh, uh, or in the middle of nowhere and just kind of doodle something in it. And that's where it's coming down to is just trying to draw some doodles, just trying my darndest to learn something more overall, just trying. And that's all you got to do. You put your pay and pencil to paper and draw away. In 60 days, this is where I've come. Uh, is it perfect? No, not by any means. And I, I, I don't expect it to be. But is it something that I'm learning? And I think it is. And I hope someday to simulate something more. This was a one that I recently did. Um, I'll show you another one in this book that's a little bit better. That's all I've gotten in this book. Um, this one's got a couple, a couple bigger ones that I'm trying to do right now. And it's a very different sort of thing at the same time. I'm just trying to emulate something that I'm seeing. 
right? So the whole werewolf in front of the full moon, I, in a lot of ways, just trying to put something to paper, trying to take a little bits here and there. And then, you know, I, it's a very unique situation with everything that I've fallen myself into. And I'm like, why don't I try and draw myself talking with plague? And that was where this was. It, it, it nowhere near anywhere. Um, th this is this is a book that I have just sitting there at the bedside where I'm just drawing a couple things in. And this is the other one. The so that was my my try and detailed sketch of things. So I drew this before the other ones that we saw in that small book, and that's all. That's all I've done in the last sixty days. Uh, well, in the last thirty days, we already did the thirty day video. If you have not seen that, please go watch that video. And this is where I'm at right now. Just once again, trying to learn new techniques, this book has been a big help in a lot of sense in, in just trying to draw something more. And I don't see myself stopping this anytime soon. I'm going for 100 days and I'm going to continue making this video or this series. And after that, we'll see where I am. Maybe, maybe I reflect on this in a year. Do I continue drawing after 100 days? I'm not sure, but we will have to wait to see. Anyway. I am your proud Canadian Phoenix Center Shadow. I'm signing off here. Have yourselves a great day. And I have to say, it's absolutely a pleasure actually creating something for a change instead of trying to voice an opinion on uh, in commentary. It's It's been a very, very challenging road, but at the same time, I'm learning a lot. And I think this is a much healthier way to produce something for YouTube. Anyway, have yourselves a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe.